Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. Long-term uh, viewers to the channel will know that over the last few years, I've been fortunate enough to uh, be able to have potato berries sprout on my potato plants. And over the last couple of years, I've taken those berries and I've harvested them to produce what's known as true potato seeds. The same again happened this year. I got an awful lot of potato berries uh, coming on the potato plants. Um, however, through pests, I did lose an awful lot of those. But I still ended up with a few. And I thought it was worth revisiting these to see how you harvest these potato seeds for future storage. Well, here we are in the kitchen and uh, just a few very basic utensils. Got a little sieve, be using that later. Got a little life, I'll be using that shortly. Bowl into which I'll just pop a little bit of uh, warm water. And the, uh, the egg box, you'll have seen this down in the cabin. It's just something that I popped the uh, potato berries into. And, and I've just left them in there to just ripen off. Um, I did have an awful lot more potato berries than this. And gradually, as the weeks went by, I don't know what it was that was eating them but something was taking them off the plant um, so I don't know whether it was birds or slugs or I don't know what it was but that's where I ended up with there was one more when I opened the box in the cabin uh, the other night on the way home from work when I called in to water the chickens in the garden uh, but that was too far gone so not as many as in previous years let me just uh, pop a tissue on there <laughs> just in case um, but it's a very simple process it's a bit lengthy process so I'll be doing this in stages because um, these need to dry out later overnight but it's literally just slicing through the tomato the uh, potato berry you can already see the seeds I'm presuming you can can you see those And all we're doing is just with the nail, just scraping these out of the actual berry. Try not to get too much of the flesh in the water because you're only going to have to sieve it out later. <laughs> and it is difficult, but just try and separate the seed out of the actual flesh. And even though I haven't got that many berries this time, if you uh, saw my previous video, God, I can't even remember when that was now. Must be getting on for a couple of years ago. Um, you'll know that these little potato berries are absolutely rammed with seeds. So just take your time with that, gradually work your way through all the berries, just popping out the seeds. Can you see how they just kind of ease out as you run your nail through? I hope you can see that in the video. <laughs> but I'm sure you get the picture. So rather than watching me do these, all of these berries, I'll come back to you once I've finished. Do take your time. Because as you work your way through, they seem to appear out of nowhere in little pockets inside the berry and it's easy to overlook some of them. 
So that's the first one done. You do end up with bits of pulp, but they are. Can you see how that's full of little berries, seeds? So it is just worth your time to try and get them all out. You see the little jelly with the seeds inside? Is it going to focus or not? Okay, I'll just quickly grab <clears throat> the camera so you can see inside the bowl. And that's one berry done so far. I'm hoping that it picks this up. Yeah, it does look. Look at all those little seeds. So from only a few berries, I've got uh, five berries in total. You're going to get hundreds, if not heading towards the thousands of berries. So let me finish these other four off and I'll come back to you shortly. Okay, so that's the five berries done. You will get little bits of flesh and if you just roll that around just to try and rinse off any seeds that are still stuck in there and then just pluck it out. I'm just sticking it on tissue as I go along. Some of the the flesh doesn't actually have any seeds in it, it floats to the top. Some of it remains stubbornly at the bottom, but just a little process of rubbing that between your fingers and it'll separate the seeds out until you get to a stage where you've got nothing but seeds in the bottom. A little bit fiddly, but it's nice and therapeutic. Focus on the uh, end result <laughs> rather than the pain of the process. But as you can see there, I've got, um, I don't know how many I've got, obviously, because I can't count them, but I've got hundreds of little seeds in there. So I'll just swish that around a bit, let it rinse, because the seeds will have this little kind of jelly coating on them. I'll swish it around a bit, then I'll just let it sit soaking for, I don't know, an hour or two, just to dissolve off the uh, the jelly off the seeds. And then we'll be ready to take it out of the water. Okay, well I've uh, let these uh, true potato seeds soak for just, I don't know, an hour and a bit. And I'm ready to try and strain these out. Um, this is always the tricky part trying not to lose them all as, they, as I pour through this sieve. There's a few still in the bowl. Hopefully they'll come out. And there's always the stragglers. Get in there. six or seven just didn't want to go in there so I just let that gently soak through until I'm pretty sure that I'm just left with jelly and seeds in the bottom I've put a bit of uh, baking paper I forget what it's called now I think it's called baking paper actually <laughs> onto a little tray and now I've got to try and get these remaining seeds out of the sieve you are going to have to sacrifice a few along the way with this process but hey I've got as many as I can out 
Yeah. And then literally all I'll do, I'm trying to gauge where you can and can't see this, let me tilt the camera down a little bit and get back onto here. That's better. So you're just going to spread these out as best you can across this paper. There is a tendency for these, because they are still covered in a bit of jelly, to try and clump together, but just try and spread them out as best you can. I've got the oven turned on, but it's not actually turned to a temperature. It's just literally just kicked in the fan. Um, so there's no real heat being generated in there. It's just the air circulating. I'm just going to pop them into there. It shouldn't take more than an hour or so. Um, but you can just keep checking on them and you'll see as they start to dry out. The object is to try and dry off any remaining water and jelly off the seeds and then you'll be able to just scoop them off into a little jar or a packet. So let me pop those in the oven and uh, as soon as they're done I'll come back to you. So I've just popped those in the oven. I've uh, just put a little wooden spatula on top of the uh, tray. Just I'd hate for the, uh, the fan in the fan oven to whip that paper up once these have dried out and I end up with <laughs> seeds all over the inside of the oven. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to you when uh, they're dried. Well they've been in for just over an hour and every so often I've just grabbed a little chopstick and just moved them around a little bit. And to be fair, they're just about done. But uh, I'll give them another, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, I think, just to be absolutely certain. And then we'll get them uh, out and off that tray. Well, we're back. I've just given those probably about 15, maybe even 20 minutes. Um, just to make sure that they were dried out. We have to be a little bit careful because some of these, once you've tipped them on at the start of the drying process, will group together in little clumps. And sometimes those clumps have that little bit of jelly or the, uh, the meat of the fruit, if that makes sense. There's a couple there that's still stuck together, so I'm just split those out. Um, yeah, so you, you don't want anything that's still got high moisture content in when you uh, put these in the bag to store. Uh, if there is any moisture in there, it can affect all of the seeds. So I'm fairly confident that these are, are dried out thoroughly now. So do, if you do try this, do, you know, be a little bit patient and just take your time make sure that everything is nice and dry and that the seeds are separated. You can pull them out every so often and just rub them in your fingers, you know, pick them up and rub them um, just to help separate the individual seeds out. So they're ready now to go into a bag. I've got a little plastic Ziploc bag. I will put that inside an envelope to keep it out of the light. But uh, <laughs> as you can imagine, that's a small bag get all those safely inside so fingers crossed I'll get that done off camera and come back to you in a second. Well there we go that's all the uh, seeds rescued into a little Ziploc bag. Don't know how many is in there there's a fair few hundred in there because they are tiny tiny little things they're almost like carrot seeds in size so there we go, true potato seeds. Another batch for 2021. So third year in a row I've harvested these. Fingers crossed, we'll never need to use them in anger. <laughs> but uh, the whole reason we are storing these is just in case, because if there are no potato tubers, 
there's going to be no potatoes. So this is my little insurance policy in case the worst happens. Well, that's it for this video. I hope there was something in there that was of interest to you. If you did like the video, please do click on the like button. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. As always, welcome any comments, questions or suggestions you might have. Have you collected true potato seeds before? Have you ever had potato berries and wondered what to do with them? <laughs> At least now you know. Let me know in the comments section below. But for now, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.